pensions in the news still uh, have been pretty much ever since the first budget last May. Scott Morrison seems to be a bit keen on a proposal by ACOS to limit eligibility to the age pension, talking about changing the assets test, for instance. He says he'll speak to the crossbenchers about this. Is that something Labor would consider supporting? Is it a good idea? Well, the first thing to say is it's a very clear broken promise. Tony Abbott said in that famous interview on the night before the election, no cuts to health, no cuts um, to uh, education, no cuts to the ABC or SBS, no change to pensions and no new taxes. It might be a broken and promise, but is it uh, is it fair that people, couples with wealth in excess of $1.1 million in addition to the family home, can access some of the pension? Well, it just troubles me that the first thing Scott Morrison goes to is pensions. So we, we've said uh, as a Labor opposition that if they're interested in looking at people with very high superannuation balances that we're prepared um, to, to look at whether we can support something in that area. Remember, when we were in government, um, we tried to move on people with balances of more than $2 million in their super and the Liberals backed that. It troubles me that the first thing they start looking at is pensions, particularly uh, when they've said no change to pensions and uh, particularly when the, their first proposal was, in fact, to cut the indexation rate of pensions, which would have taken the average pension down by $80 a week within 10 years. So w we don't have a specific proposal from Scott Morrison. I mean, you know, he, he's No, this he's is not a new idea, though. The Grattan Institute's been talking about this for a long time. The Labor must have looked at this. He's free to put to us a specific proposal, and of course we'll have a look at it, but it troubles me that instead of... They, they reversed our measures on multinational tax. That was a couple of billion dollars. They reversed our measures on high income superannuation. They've given up the revenue from carbon pricing. They've given up the revenue from mining tax. And now they're turning once again to pensioners. Thank you.